Hey guys, this is Jamie at APR. I'm gonna walk you through the new RS5 launch control boost strategy. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your, your coolant and oil temperatures are warm and up to temperature. Don't wanna do this on a cold engine. Uh, the next step would be to make sure that the traction control is disabled by holding this button until the display says ESC off. Now you've disabled the traction control system completely. Uh, the next step would be to put your foot on the brake pedal and put it in sport mode. Uh, now what you want to do with the left foot on the brake pedal is press it down as firm as you possibly can, as far down as you possibly can. Uh, and with your right foot, it's going to be on the accelerator pedal. And you're going to want to push that past 100%. There's a kick down switch at the bottom. It's a little detent. You want to make sure that that is completely depressed. And when you do it, you'll see that this boost gauge will start to build boost. At that point, you would just release the brake pedal and keep the accelerator pressed all the way down during your launch uh, to keep that detent pressed down at the very bottom of the pedal. Uh, you'll notice that the boost gauge slowly builds up boost. And this is very handy depending on the surface that you are uh, racing on. If it's a well prepped track, you can let that boost build all the way up to 100%. Um, and launch with the maximum amount of torque possible. Uh, if you're on a less prepped track, maybe like a road surface, you can try doing it with just a little bit of boost or halfway boost and see what works best for you.